Hello, Jessu Food here, and I was so happy to find this at Walmart. We got the Kels Mix. I don't even know if that's how you say these people's names. I don't even know these people. I think one of them might be dating Taylor Swift. I don't even know. I think the, clearly there's athletes of some kind, but competitive sports is not my world. However, that doesn't mean I did not want this cereal so much because Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Reese's Puffs are unironically like my favorite cereals of all time. So mixing those two together is something I've done many times before, which is sad because a lot of people, when this was real, was like, ew, what an awful mix. And I'm like, I do that all the time. Then adding cereal marshmallows, which are the best part of Lucky Charms, I'm down. Personally, I don't like fruity cereals. None of these are fruit flavored, you know? So I, this is my perfect mix. I grew up loving Lucky Charms, but I don't really eat them anymore. Not that they're bad, it's just the non-marshmallows are very boring, you know? <laughs> so I, I prefer Count Chocula or stuff like that new Wednesday cereal. So let's check out this mix and see if it is worth it. Opening this right now, I'm a little afraid that the most prominent cereal piece will be the boring Lucky Charms green stuff, whatever the heck it is. I'm not seeing as much marshmallows, I'm not seeing as much cinnamon toast, and I'm not seeing as much uh, Reese's Puffs, but uh, let's pour this bad boy in. So, what do we got here? We got mostly, oh, I wouldn't even say mostly, no, no, no. Okay, it seems like Reese's Puffs might be the most, which I don't have a problem with. Shockingly low amount of marshmallows there, which does make me a little sad. Whatever, not the biggest deal. Got some cereal dust right there, but. All right, let me go get a spoon. All right, let's dig in. Oh my gosh, these cereal videos are like so annoying because you'll accidentally spill like, I don't know, I always accidentally spill milk. Personally, I'm a fan. I really love this. Make this a whole, uh, just just a regular evergreen cereal. I mean, yeah, it combines two cereals that are my favorite. You know, third would probably be the mini wheats, the, the chocolate mini wheats. And then you have cereal marshmallows. Only weak part is, of course, like I said, those uh, non-marshmallow parts of Lucky Charms, which I never really cared for, but they're not repulsive, like say uh, fruit flavored cereal, which I just cannot stand but that gets overpowered and it just kind of blends into a cinnamon peanut butter taste. So I guess that would be even healthier than the cinnamon toast crunch and the Reese's puffs. So maybe it is good that a large content of this is uh, that boring part of the Lucky Charms. I mean, this would just save me money, but again, I try not to eat too much unhealthy stuff, so I don't really buy these cereals anymore. I don't know, to me, that was like an eight out of 10. It would just save me money if they just put that on store shelves. But again, it's not anything exclusive, but what a great mix, because it seems like cereal prices are out the charts anyways. So yeah, thumbs up for me. Let me know if you've tried this mixed cereal before. I did forget to show the epic back art right there of these two. I guess they're brothers. So there you go. I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.